my most anticipated game for the fall is Middle Earth Shadow of War. Being released in October for PS4 and Xbox One. Be upgrading 4K for Xbox One X. But they just announced their online mode called Social Conquest, which is having players attacking your captured nemesis fortresses, and you're able to outfit it. You're able to customize it with the defenses, appointing an orc overlord and captains to your fortress. So the with the Social Conquest mode, they do have two different modes for it. The first one is Friendly Conquest, which there's no risk and you get small rewards with it. So it's more of a test run, see what it's all about. But the ranked mode, which is the online rankings, this is where you will be given loot boxes and currency that you'll be able to use to buy more boxes when you defeat a fortress. But any of your orcs or captains who die, so again, so I have my own fortress that I got. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna customize it with, with my defenses. I'm gonna sign a captain, sign my orcs that I got through my campaign. If they die during ranked mode, they die in my campaign. They're dead. They're not coming back. I love it. The quicker you complete your assault on a fortress, the higher your ranking will be. But if you lose, your ranking will then go down if you lose in your assault on someone's fortress. So this is their online social conquest mode. Mo, what do you think? Of this oh, mode? I love it. I, I think that's an awesome way to... To incorporate something that's fresh, you know, um, not and not the ranking part. It's just it's like a tower defense for yourself, and then people will have to go in and and try to conquer. And if they can't, well, then you know, um, do they give bonuses or anything? Haven't you mentioned it? Correct. That's... Yeah. So you get loot boxes and currency. So when you beat it, you'll be able to get those. You get rewards. So what th- about what about when um, the person that's raiding and they lose? You as the person who set up those defenses, do they get stuff too? Because I, I didn't hear anything about that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, no. They just announced it um, this week. This so, week. So. so it just came out. Or, so it's just like brand new news too. Yeah. Us, so but. it's brand new news that they announced the, the social mm-hmm. conquest. I'm not sure what the person who sets up the fortress, what, what they get. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember reading on what would happen. I, they should get rewarded if yeah. someone loses to their fortress. Yeah. The, uh, Injustice 2 has a, something similar. Um, not, not, of course, not to the scale of where you have your own fortress, but um, for Injustice 2, you set up uh, uh, three heroes or villains uh, on the same team, same squad, and they um, their job is to basically defend against three attackers from um, somebody else, and this is completely online. So if you lose, you get, you know, credits and stuff like that to, to spend on the, uh, the multiverse and all that. So it kind of reminds me of that. Um, this is cool, though, because it's like, it's on separate adventure you know you can lose you can win and um it's interesting it's an interesting build up and i'm i'm really excited after hearing hearing the news yeah i'm not much of an online player i loved the first game shadow mortar i love it if you've seen the, the previous episodes i can't talk highly enough again yeah. one of my favorite games in the last five years shadow mordor uh, i'm very excited again it's gonna be very hard for me to to wait from when it's released on October 10th and wait until November 7th to play on Xbox One X. We'll see if I can stay strong and do it. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but this is a mode. And I do like that they have two different modes. They have that friendly conquest so you can practice it. Yeah. And so the real thing, you know, if your orcs and captains die, they're, they're fine. Yeah. So you'll be able to practice a little bit. They have that for beginners. And then they have that ranked mode as in now. And the consequences that your orcs and captains will die in your main campaign. Yeah. And just... I'm curious about how much I can customize uh, my fortress, like with the defenses. Um, sure. And we saw videos, it uh, looked like you can do a lot, but I'm just curious how much you can do mm-hmm. with that social conquest. It seems very exciting. Um, I did read, uh, did you play Metal Gear 5? I did, a little bit. Was there I, something similar? I read that and was it something similar to that. Yeah, there was. Like a, um, was there a base it, mode? Yeah, there was a base mode and you, attack you get other? like soldiers and all this stuff. Um, um, I didn't go too far into it. I mostly just wanted to play for the storyline, and then I just, eh, I kind of quit it. it. It wasn't my game. I'm just excited for the possibilities and extending the, the life of the game. That's exactly Going from what it is. single player to, to multiplayer and yeah. something I might spend a, a lot of hours yeah. on. I mean, and, and basically, you're pretty much playing by yourself. You're just trying to 
conquer that person's like fortress is as dirty as that sounds. <laughs> conquer that fortress. Mm. Well, Get we all just up compared a that. vagina to a death ring. <laughs> So, get all up in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, the challenges and again, uh, the higher the ranking, um, again, if you lose, your ranking uh, decreases. Uh, so it's uh, very exciting. Yeah. New. We'll, we'll see if it reaches its full potential. I've heard a lot of online modes that sounded great in theory, but when it was actually implemented, it implemented, just... it did not reach. So we'll see. If this has. How's that following? Yeah. yeah. Also in the news for Shadow of War, they announced microtransactions. So this is from the studio's official announcement. Players can purchase loot chests, war chests, and XP boosts and bundles through the market to strengthen, strengthen their army. So in loot chests, that contains weapons, armor, and XP boosts to help your character level up faster. In War Chess, uh, you'll be able to have new Orc followers to help strengthen your army and training orders to customize your Orc followers. So you can customize them, what type of Orc you want them to be, be able to receive, so that you can actually use real money, microtransaction, to purchase these chests. And how you earn these chests, these loot chests and war chests through the game by playing, is by killing treasure Orcs and destroying gear. So you receive gear, you can destroy it to receive the in-game currency to be able to purchase these chests. So what is your take, Mo, on microtransactions? I've never bought into any, no game. Just, it's not worth it. Just play the game and earn it. I mean, Battlefield 1 does this right now where you can spend real money just to get the experience up uh, or to unlock every weapon in the game. And How much are the, the microtransactions? Um, they can range between like three to twenty dollars to fifty to sixty dollars. It's pretty. Jeez. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's uh, worth the price of the the game. Yeah. I better get like full leveled up, upgraded character. It's not worth it. I just I've been playing Battlefield um, since it came out, and I've damn near just unlocked everything. Now all I have to unlock is just the the you know like stab fifty people or hundred people with a trench knife or this or that just to unlock another weapon it's i'd rather do that stuff in line on game and just earn it it's it's simple it's not that hard i guess if you have you know if you have money to throw away i guess but i still prefer just to play the game and just get the experience i need for it, it makes me better as a gamer and i i feel i understand on this on the studio's perspective again any way to increase revenue everyone does that yeah and if people pay for it Hey, it's on them. Yeah. Just as long as it doesn't give me, give them an unfair advantage, especially on social conquest. When I pick it up, day one. Uh, well, I'm gonna be fucking behind anyway, so I'm picking up November seventh. <laughs> but if someone picks it up day one, and someone's already had the built up fortress by just paying, and then it's nearly impossible. And in my prior experience, anytime somebody purchases everything, they're usually one of the first ones to get owned. Which is <laughs> Correct. And that's true as well. If someone earned their way, they're a better player than someone who budget, and then they don't even know how to use all these war chests. You, know, you may have the most powerful sword, but this guy got through the whole game with just a knife. I'm <laughs> like, eh, you're going to get fucked. <laughs> I almost say with Horizon with the spear. Yeah, exactly. O almost with the spear. The whole, the whole way. <laughs> yeah. So you run into some shit that uh, the spear is not going to work. Um, so Battlefield 1, have you... Purchase any transactions in other? I know the only microtransactions like I'm familiar with. Uh, I know the free, um, the the free games. I know like Candy Crush and those type of games. Yeah, yeah. You Just can so they can get their little extra lives and everything. Um, no, I mean the only thing I got was just the season pass for for Battlefield One, just so I can get the the maps. It's pretty much all I cared for. Um, and they've been doing a great job. Those those maps are incredible. So um, that's really all I purchased. Um, besides that, but other than that, no. So, um, so you for or against micro transactions? I are you I'm, indifferent? Just, I'm just indifferent. If somebody wants to buy into them, good for them. That's that's on them, you know. Um, like Battlefield One, is that your issue where people can purchase and be upgraded, and then do you think that's unfair? I mean, no, I don't see. I just don't see it. I maybe I just don't care enough. I just. I, I, or you kick their ass anyways? I feel I do. Anyways. So. But. I don't know. 
That's the one thing that I really appreciate. I, I don't know, it started a few years ago, is the midnight launches, where on, here on the West Coast, we get at 9 p.m., um, where, you know, it might be at midnight mm -hmm. on the East Coast, but it'll be 9 p.m., so we can all start... Because I remember Since back in the day, time. like Call of Duty, years ago... Oh, everybody was, like, their prestige was shooting through three the three hours, I picked it up at midnight, and people on the East Coast, they had it for three hours already, and they were already at a fucking high level. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. So I'm glad. And I noticed that a few years ago, that they started now doing 9 p.m. Yeah. In my experience, lunches. it's always been, uh, if you want to be the man, you have to beat the man, so... Can I beat the man? No, not no, not in that context, bro. Come ah. on. <laughs> I'll beat the man all day. The King Kong. That's it. That's all I'm saying. So I mean, but if you want to purchase into it, that's on you. That's yeah. Right. Buy all these loot boxes and uh, war chests. Yeah. Uh, but me, I'll be playing. I won't be. I'll be buying too many other games, anyways. Just to try and get my orcs. But again, I want to get better. So I don't want to just buy the experience yeah. points. You know, I want to improve. And I miss the game mechanics already. I, 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 just, I might just go play Shadow of Mordor right now. <laughs> after this. Just thinking about it. I can't wait until October or November 7th when I do purchase it. But I, I just know I read people are a little frustrated, upset with the microtransaction. But it's the choice. It's, it's the choice. Um, it's not going to ruin my game experience. No. At all, uh, especially with the conquest mode. Again, fine. If someone wants to purchase all that, I'll, I'll be. I'm game. Yeah. I'll accept the challenge and uh, I'll find a way. To some way, I will destroy that fortress. <laughs> I'll make it happen. I will destroy it. I will smash it. All up in that ass. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Please let us know in the comments below what you feel about social conquest mode and the microtransactions for Middle Earth: Shadow of War. Thank <laughs> you.